Hello everyone, welcome to Job Tracker. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. In this video, we will be discussing about the top tricky interview questions that were asked at Zorian Technologies Private Limited for the position of Java Spring Boot developer, which is for three plus years of experience and 10 lakh rupees as package. So without wasting any more time, let us move forward. I have a small sincere request. Please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with all of your friends who are preparing for the Java Spring Boot developer interview. Let us move forward. Now to break the ice, the interviewer asked the person this question, basic question that is, what is the difference between an abstract class and an interface in Java? Then the person asked, what would you choose? interface or abstract class or what is the current application in your project are you using an abstract class or most probably you are using interface so this was the question that was asked by the interviewer okay so this is very basic you have to prepare this by heart okay now the third important question is which data structure is used internally in an array list okay this is again a tricky question which the interviewer asks generally what happens they might ask you the difference between array list and linked list or they might ask you what would you use in this condition like would you use a linked list or array list or they might ask you what is the time complexity of array list and linked list so these are the things okay now this is again very important you should know the underlying data structure for array list also and linked list also okay now the fourth important question that they asked was internal working of hash set Again, this is very important. You should know that what is the underlying principle which hash set works on, what is used in hash map also, like is hash map used, like something related to hash map is used for hash set also. So you have to determine that, okay? You have to explain that in detail. Now again comes the most important question that was asked in the interview. What is singleton design pattern and how that can be implemented? Okay. So you have to explain it in a very thoroughly. Okay. Giving an example, maybe if you, they ask you to write some code for it, then also try that also. Okay. This is very important. Singleton design pattern is of utmost important guys. Don't forget this. Now the next question that the interviewer asked was, what is serialization and deserialization? Okay. So they might ask you a relation between serialization, deserialization and singleton design pattern. Okay. They might ask you to give an example or something, but again, this is, this is linked most probably with the singleton design pattern. And that is the reason it is important for you to prepare both of these three terms. Okay. Now the next thing that they asked from uh, spring boot was explain the life cycle of spring bean. Okay, this is again most asked interview question, but it is very tricky because you have to explain the life cycle. They might also ask you about profiles or they might also ask you about bean scope. So make sure that you are prepared with that also. Okay, then they started asking about the auto configuration in Spring Boot and other uh, like uh, auto wiring or other things that you are using that are common questions. But auto configuration, uh, you need to explain in detail what happens with this uh, auto configuration annotation in Spring Boot. Okay, now coming to the coding question. The first coding question was asked that it, that there was a stream of numbers that was provided and then that person had to find the unique elements in the stream. Okay. You can either use a hash uh, set or you can either use a distinct uh, method that is already predefined. Okay. And then after this was successful, then the interviewer asked the student, the candidate that find the numbers that start with, with a digit one. So you have to apply the filter for each number to check whether it is, uh, sorry, there was one more thing that was added that. Uh, like filter the number by uh, even all the even numbers should be present after this unique element it was to be filtered with uh, even numbers and all the even numbers were to be uh, like filtered again back to find the digit or to find the number where it starts with one so this was the question okay now again one more important question that was asked was write code using java 8 to find the average salary of employees there was an array list of employees and that employees uh, like array list of employees right and that uh, employees were having some of the other properties out of which uh, salary was one of the property. Then you have to find the third highest salary. And then one more question was asked to find the minimum salary. So these were the questions, coding questions that were asked. Guys, if you're preparing for a Java interview, then make sure that you are working on your Java stream APIs because a lot of interviewers focus mainly on stream and how efficiently you can utilize stream in while working. So it can be flat map, it can be parallel stream. So make sure that you are working on these concepts like very properly. Along with that, they might also ask you something like uh, check a, a string is palindrome or not using Java 8. You know about string builder, you know about uh, iterating it, uh, the string for using a for loop, but definitely using stream is also very important where you have to use different methods. Okay. 
So I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you want, I can also provide the answers to all these questions in our videos. Do let us know in the comment section. What do you feel? Should we give the questions as well as answers or only questions is enough? Thank you again for watching this entire video guys. Hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.